This way, Sayyid. I have... Putting away! Oh. I hope first does not crash Everything again. prospers when family is harmonious. Family? The word has no meaning. The notions, even more so. Only the self hears the deepest whispers of your soul and accepts you whole. No one lives alone. But we die lonely. In the end, we are absolutely, simply, truly alone. So everything I did from the last save to this because it crashed quick. It was just when the the gin or Ginny started coming towards me. Super quick. The bureau. Getting away. I've got all day. in there. Mm -hmm. 
What in God's name? Is someone trying to keep us busy? in here. chance. I hear only members of the Merchant Guild can arrange an audience in her chambers. Well, maybe if I find out where she purchased her robe, or her beautiful fan. Watching the Amir's aid, cocky kid from there.
Basim, how did you fare? The streets are alive with talk about the auction. Rumors spread quickly. It was this woman, Ning. A woman holding the reins. She must have angered many. Angered and enthralled, in equal parts. It is no wonder she kept her identity hushed. Now the upper echelons of affluent louts are soiling their silk robes. Wondering if they are next. The order will not stop here. If they have reached the east, then there is no telling how far they will spread. Did you see it? The Jenny? It... Uh, it is gone now. It is gone. Rest while you can. Our work is not done yet. I am here. Basim, the Mahal. I cannot keep them waiting. Are they aware, your companions, that their hunter is hunted in his sleep? If it were in my sleep alone, I could bear it. But it followed when I fled Anbar. Now it stalks me when I slay those I hunt. The ones from the palace, in the masks. Four are dead at my hand. The last, the head of the snake, will join them soon. Why slit its throat when you could loosen its tongue? What? Why would I- The Jinni only struck in sleep. It never dogged you by the day until you reached into that chest. The masked ones prize what lay within. The ancient object that woke at your touch. They may hold more answers living than dead. I hunt my enemies. I do not break bread with them. I took an oath, Nihal. How can you hunt when you are hounded? If you could walk the dark unburdened, you could better serve the light. I stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent, not from the order of the ancients. If you will not ask your foes, then at least ask your friends what slept in that chest, and why they sought it. My companions wait for me at the Harbiya Bureau. Clear your mind, Basim. Focus on the task before you. See, this is from Marcus Dorky. Parmway. I still can't kind of enter the door. Which is weird.
Get away from me. Peace, friend. Welcome, welcome. May I see your wares? Here's what I've got. Have a gear improvement project in mind? Excellent choice. Is that all? I will be off then. Farewell, sir. Hello. Well met. Allow me to browse your stock. Here is what's up. Mm. We can make it stronger. Is that it for now? I fought some of those pale long hairs, killed a couple. They are wild, but skilled. Formidable wolves. But so am I. Greetings. Be welcome. What have you got today? Here is what's in stock. I can give it a good lick for you. I have a gift with edges. I know a thing or two about blades. Is that all for now? You took your time. Did you wait up, Master? I wait for no man. You look tired. Nothing a little adventure won't fix. What news? Ali thinks the time is right to attack the palace. The Oyun are distracted and the people divided. Divided how? Some are claiming the new Khalifa stole the throne from Abu Abdullah. Son of Al Mutabakil. What do you know of him? Little. He was there at the palace the night his father. The night I reached into that chest. Master, have we learned anything more about the object within? Why do you ask? It seems a shame we know so little about something the Order prized so much. Should we not seek to know our enemies better, the better to defeat them? Marhaban Basim, have I interrupted? No. We must turn to the task at hand. 
Of course, Abu Abdullah. Rebecca tells me you have met his mother, Abiha. I did. I think she could be first among our foes. She, or Arib the poet, or Muhammad the governor. All three had ties to our enemies. Muhammad ibn Tahir. His cousins govern the land on which Alamut sits. Their protection is all that shields us from our enemies. I cut our enemies' legs beneath their master. Let me strike while their stumps are bloody. I will unmask them and learn their intent. Basim is right. We must act swiftly. Go to the Round City. Investigate all three, but take no further action. Reports back to me atop the house of the previous hill. Slice clues. Poet, politician, and concubine. I will soon know which one wears the mask. Fulav, my finder of facts, my fielder of questions. How can I be of help, Basim? Tell me about Arib. Her words were as scripture to members of the Order. A gifted artist and poetess, Arib won her freedom through her skill. Tabit tells me she keeps a luxurious home in the Round City. Anything else? What do you know of Kabiha? She had ties to the treasurer. Born to slavery, Kabiha rose to become Al Mutawakkil's favorite concubine in the harem. Yet her son was not made Khalifa, leaving her future uncertain. Anything else? Tell me about the governor. I saw him give orders to Wasif at Turkey. Muhammad is one of the Tahirids. Powerful viceroys of the Khalifas in Persia. He governs all Baghdad from his seat at the courts. Anything else? Where can I find our suspects? All three live within the glorious round city, the power center of the Abbasid Khilafah. Anything else? Shukran, Fulad.
يلقاها علينا ذلك الغلام الكوري في علم الحياه لست خبيرا في هذا العلم لكن يجدونك اذا تراخيت في العمل انك من الجدد هنا لذا The Madalim courts are close. Darwish once told me it is where the commons can appeal when justice itself is dealt unjustly. My father once said, to know the measure of a man, ask those who work beneath him. These judges must know the governor better than most. Greetings, Sayyidi. I wonder if I could ask you some questions about the governor, Muhammad ibn Tahir. I am not underpaid to answer questions. I suggest you make this worth my time. Otherwise... Would you accept this token of appreciation from a humble citizen? Hmm. I would. As a start. I serve justice, not spoil it. Take your money. Now, what do you know about the governor? He's feared, respected, dedicated to the rule of law, order. That is all you know. You work here. Muhammad ibn Tahir keeps office at the courts. At the shorter courts, not the Mathalim. He does keep spies here. One scuttles back to his office every day at noon. Goodbye now. messenger could lead me to the governor's office and whatever secrets he buries there. I want to talk to you. 
They are gone. They are to hate me. Tomorrow I must be better. Bastard. They say the harem is home to hundreds, secluded and kept from sight of men. This place may be more secret than Alamut. What beautiful homes, far different from the slums of Anbar.
برسه اما بس Guide me, Enkidu. Let us hope she is home. You will not bar me from my guests. This is my house. Bought with my generosity. Bought by my genius. For tokens, favors, and personal dedications, you may find Sayyida Arib in the garden after her recital. Good day. You must be her patron. It is an honor, Sayyidi. If I may, I seek a private audience with the poetess. Do you? I have been moved beyond words by her... words. Symmetry of sky and sea. I only wish to express my sincere admiration. Pretty words. Nearly as pretty as hers, and just as false. We both know what mask she wears, don't we? Mask, Sayidi. Enough, Sayidi. I know what you are, and I know why you've come. You think I haven't seen you skulking in the shadows. She's no longer party to your plots, your secret meetings, your foolish nicknames. I have scrubbed her clean of them. For I have set a watch on her door. My men dog her recitals. Every letter she's had of you I have shredded or sent back. Sent back? You will find them piled at the postal bureau. Burn them. Bury them. Do what you will. You can choke on them for all I care. Oh. Foolish nicknames, secret meetings. The patron may have thought me a member of the Order of the Ancients. The piles of letters at the Postal Bureau may reveal more. Let us see what... The Postal Bureau. I will do as the Huyun do. Sift through strangers' mail and sniff out conspiracies. Did I? Oh. Look out! Oh. 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 Oh.
Lend me your eyes. Our jobs is never a bad idea. We fled by now or lurking nearby.
There must be mail here from every corner of the Khilafa. Now to find Aribs. complain about this post. Feel safe for once. Could get used to it. Silence your song of sin, or I will do it for you. How kind. Moving on. After the honey drips from her lips, Athaleb leaves the garden and follows the mouse. Secret order correspondence? Bad poetry? A bit of both? Harib could be Athaleb. The patron spoke of a recital in the gardens. I could give this letter to Harib and see where the vixen leads me. I will go to the garden, give Athalab her letter, and follow where she goes. and I never leave a mark. <laughs> it seems there's no privacy in the public eye. 
How came you by that letter? Who put you up to this? I work in the dark to serve the light. <laughs> I've met the men who serve the light. It seems its glare oft leaves them blind. Are your masters so blinkered and bumbling? You were warned, you son of a dog. Come a reap. We will set no tongues to wagging here. Yours is the tongue that will not still itself, even when I beg for silence. You spurned the counsel of he who raised you, and without whom you would still be nothing? I raised myself. I authored myself. I have written myself into history. You are banished from my pages. Now be gone! How can I leave you to walls such as these? You're a woman alone, unarmed. Words are weapons enough for me. Then let us see what defense they offer. Take her. There is somewhere the Sayida needs to be, and you are delaying her. It seems that words can summon shields. We will need to make this quick. Now, you! Yes, the beast is invincible! Arib has left for her secret meeting. I must hurry. The letter commanded Athalam to leave the garden and follow the mouse. Perhaps Arib is not lost to me yet. posted to that game. The endless tide of traders yelling at me that their business is being... <laughs> Another crumb to follow. I am growing tired of this chase. Fighting with the Amir of Barda back in 38. Got a spear in the back.